This is a night of reckoning. I reckon I'm going to take this TV apart. This is a Mitsubishi. I believe it's a 50 inch. And it is a rear projection, which means it is massive. Now, because it's a rear projection, it takes a minute to warm up. makes that lovely squealing noise you forgot you hated in the 90s. There we go. It's got some pretty serious ghosting on it where it was left on for a long time. It's channel 4 right there. Really nothing can be done about it. So comes apart tonight. part now. That is the guts. Okay, so that is a big ass mirror. Front surface I'm guessing. These are basically just CRTs with lenses on them. They all bounce off of that and then go through what I'm really hoping is a Fresnel lens. So this one has the uh, do not shock your fool ass warning on it. So you might be wondering, as I was, how you remove a giant mirror like this without screwing it up entirely? Well, manufacturers made a provision for that. There were screws here, and then this is just a nut on a stud. And it's got a bigger hole here, like when you hang a clock or something. So it should just lift up and then come off. It should.
What a power board. It's getting kind of awful hot up here. Kind of scorched the back of it too. It still works. Right, so one part of taking apart something that's built to be serviced is sometimes they have these stickers inside. That makes me think that this whole unit might just pop out. Also, I'm looking at it and it's talking about the uh, voltages on the tubes, which I'm going to have to figure out how to discharge. And uh, also the X-ray radiation, which I don't imagine it's making not plugged in. But uh, if you see my bones in the video, please do let me know. would be blue. Okay, see, this is why I turn a camera on. It's a good thing we don't like the carpet in here. I mean, I imagine it's gotta just be, like, basically water or some very thin oil. It's just designed to make the uh, optics work. It's this little glass bubble. Okay, on second thought, do take these out. These are freaking cool. Yeah, it just smells like plastic. Hmm. I wonder if it's flammable. It's not going to be the next thing to come out. Another x-ray critical part. I just think CT scans are a much less invasive procedure. Imagine all this dust on here is just from the static maybe? Making the dust stick to that? Everything else is pretty clean. Everything I've taken apart with a flyback transformer and the lead coming out of it is just filthy. just three little tiny TV screens. Alright, so I don't really have a use for these tubes. 
But I figured I'd take one last look at them before I got rid of them. So you can see they all have sort of a white, again I'm assuming that's phosphorus coating. And then uh, they all have sort of a coffee colored burn in where the phosphorus has been overused. It kind of gets darker where the thing's smaller. I imagine because it had to put out the same amount of light as that side and it was just corrected by the mirror and the Fresno. But, uh, yeah, it's got this one you can see it on really easily. You could have if I hadn't just mucked it up with my finger. But, uh, the signal down there, I guess I have these upside down. Anyway, this is why screensavers are a thing. Well, I guess I could have read this before taking this cruise out. Alright, so I spent all night tearing that TV apart. Uh, you can see it's now light out. Also, the TV is out, what's left of it. But I got some pretty cool shit. Got this lens here from the front of it. I'm pretty sure it's a Fresnel. Not sure about this lined pattern in it. This side looks awfully Fresnel to me. And from what I've heard, a Fresnel lens of this size can burn a hole in a sheet of plywood on a sunny day. So I think I'll have some fun with that. So I got this lovely mirror. I'm thinking I'll put this in the uh, workshop above where I'll be driving cars in so that it be easier to see where the front of it is and not hit anything. I don't know. Might work for that. Anyway, got these circuit boards. Um, big ass flyback transformer. Big ass heat sinks. Um, probably scrap the transistors and big resistors and the uh, transformers off and then quit there. A whole bunch of these little cable management things, which can be helpful. And uh, a bunch of nice red screws and old man remote I never got around to taking apart. Probably go in the bin after I open it up and see what's in it. A pair of 8 ohm 10 watt speakers, two frosted glass doors. Um, not sure why I kept the Particle board, but I might find a use for it. It's a Vichy logo in aluminum. Rubber bungs. Got these really hefty. I mean, these have got to be aluminum, and they can't have been cheap to make either. I mean, looking at them, they're really nicely done. I don't know how you would mill that. So it must be cast, but it's really well done. These lenses here. Got the glass domes. It's kind of disappointed that one was clear and not blue, but I guess that opens up other possibilities for what to do with it. Got some rubber seals from the CRTs and from the lenses. And then, of course, the uh, little breather plates. Oh, that one just popped right out. Okay. <laughs> Maybe the glue was water based. I don't know. Anyway, and uh, got some caster wheels, got an aluminum, I'm oh, sorry, not aluminum, uh, galvanized steel box, got some steel angle and some steel, like, tiny beams, and then the thing that the CRTs were hooked to, which is also steel, so that should be a good solid thing to make a bracket or a cross member, I don't know what, out of. Pretty good haul for a nice work. Alright, so I just picked some of the tape off of this and this piece came out. It's uh, set up so you can screw it in and out for focusing, I assume. It's got these uh, little catches on it here. Pop it apart. I'm wondering if it's two lenses or one. Oh shit, 
Wait, no, it's four. It's five. Multiplying like rabbits on me here. Holy crap, look at that. Well, if I ever need to do an underwater effect, I'm set. Ooh, this is a fun one. Be a half decent macro lens. <laughs> well, that is just damn cool. All right, so I went ahead and took the uh, uh, screen apart. Here's the useless part. It's got these lines in it. it breaks really easily. So that's gonna be trashed. This is what I was after. They were two separate pieces of plastic. I've taken the one out of the frame. I'll see if this one's solid in it. Seems to be. I might caulk it in just for durability, but check that out. So this is my brand new 50 inch magnifying glass. Yeah. Mm -hmm.